Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Most people hear this verse and feel warmed and inspired, and I do too. Why? Well, we all want that kind of love given to us. We certainly don't want the opposite of these things. Who wants a love that is impatient and rude? Who enjoys being with a person who's completely self-seeking? But I think the real challenge for us is to read this verse and realize that this is the very love that we are called to give to others. One way that has always helped me to consider my limits of loving others is by checking my love score, by reading those verses and substituting my name wherever the word love or it appears. Try it for yourself. Read these verses out loud, and wherever you see the word in bold, say your name. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Well, how'd you do? What was your love score? The great news is that your failures of the past have been forgiven, and today and tomorrow are full of new opportunities to raise that score. Following true love means following Jesus, being transformed by His love, and being committed to His mission of loving others. And that's what discipleship is all about. Let's pray. Lord, we know that You are love. You loved us perfectly. In fact, when we read that description of love from 1 Corinthians 13, it is you. That's who you are. And we as sinners, we fail in that score so miserably. And yet you forgive us, you renew us, and you strengthen us, and you send us out into this week to be reflections of that love. And so help us, Lord, to reflect your true love to those who we come into contact with. Again, that many more may come to find that love that is so wanted and so needed in their lives, and that they would further be inspired to love others as you have first loved them through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.